It ended with a bang. At just four days from Victoria, B.C. and seven from the start, Team Angry Beaver set a new record on the race to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska, boys. It's a little surreal right now. The team is a motley crew of Seattleites, a mixture of sailors, techies, and even a chef. Many of these men grew up sailing together and decided to take on this race for the very first time. Putting the group together is more the key than probably anything else and finding the right people. In a race like this, where you're night sailing through islands and rocks and having to dodge things, I think trust is a big, big part of it. The sailors slept in two to four hour shifts when they could. When it's blowing like two knots and your boat's going four, you can sleep as long as you want, really. But when conditions were rough, it was all hands on deck. There's rocks and stuff and you're, like we said, going 10 knots. There's islands in the way, so you got to like figure out where you're going to end up. So it's like river rafting with a sailboat. Add in zero visibility and the team was in the middle of their biggest challenge. Big standing <laughs> wave in yeah. the middle of Johnson Straits. And we couldn't see anything. We couldn't see the white water. It sounded like the, the end of the world. Yeah. Like it sounded like the end of the earth. Yeah. The end of the yeah, earth. Yeah, like yeah. it just, that's what, like, you could see the rip, the ripples and you're like, you couldn't see beyond and you're like, are we gonna fall off the edge of the earth? <laughs> off the end of the earth into first place. The 40 foot boat sailed into Ketchikan to the sound of cheers, <laughs> ringing the bell on the 750 mile race. We'll do this again next year? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're ready to get oh, back on the water. Excited. Yeah, we're ready to get back down to Seattle. Hopefully that northerly fills in. <laughs> So the second team to win is called Team Pear Shaped. They're the ones who actually lost their transponder, so nobody knew exactly when they were going to make it to dock, but they made it safely. They did have some hull damage. The third team to win, Shut Up and Drive, got here at about 2 o'clock this morning, and our team, the team we were following, Sail Like a Girl, came in fourth place. They got here at about 2.45. We've been with them all morning long since 1 o'clock in the morning. We've been up tracking these teams, everyone doing an incredible job. There are more teams still coming up. A lot of people, one team in a canoe still trying to make their way up here. And it's certainly an incredible race, an incredible, incredible show of perseverance. So it's something to watch for sure. So finally, before I let you go, you might want to know where does the name Team Angry Beaver come from? Well, apparently they're named after a bar in Seattle. Reporting live from the Fish House in Ketchikan, I'm Amatia Jerisi. Back to you in studio.